In this recording, we're going to talk about multicollinearity. What exactly is multicollinearity? Uh, so, say for example, you have the model y t equals to beta one plus beta two x two t plus beta three x three t plus u t. Suppose you have this model. And how many independent variables you have? You have x two t and x three t as two independent variables. So there are two independent variables x two and x three affecting y, okay, which is your dependent variable. Now further suppose that x two and x three they are correlated with each other. They are correlated with each other. Now, for example, suppose if x two increases, x three also increases, or x three falls with an increase in x two or any other relation whatsoever, then the question is that can you tell how much, how much only x two or only X three affects y. Can you tell that? Huh? When these two independent variables they themselves are correlated with each other, then is it possible for you to tell that what is the what is the separate effect of x two on y and what is the separate effect of x three on y? No, you can't. Okay. And the problem is that even if you omit one of these variables, say for example, if you, for example, if you omit any of these variables, any of these variables, say x two. Or x three. If you omit any of these, then the results they could be significantly altered. Your the results which the regression equation is going to give the results could be significantly altered. Okay, that is you might say okay fine. If x two and x three are correlated, then the best I can do is that I can drop one of them, and then I can run the regression with using just one of them. No, the results could be significantly altered. So what have we learned till now is that is what exactly is the problem of multicollinearity in a very very crude sense. That is, in case if these two independent variables, they're actually not very independent of each other. Then you cannot separate out the effect of these two independent variables on the dependent variable, and if you try to omit any of these variables, then you land up into a set of new problems, which we'll be covering in the other recording. This is just an introduction of what multicollinearity is.